welcome once again now in this video what i'm going to uh, teach you is the transactions data so this check transaction data so uh, you have seen in a case where you, a user has sent his money but you want to use his transaction id in order to see if the user has paid or he has not paid so you can see from here you can you can just click here let's go here when you click let's go you can see that uh, you can see here you can see the documentation and this are the request body so the request body for example here that you can add the transaction id so these are the other then here you also need a security credential so if you didn't see on how you can generate a security credential just go to the video that is before this then you will get how you can generate the security credential so me i have already coded here the check transaction status you will find it in my github so you can see from this here this is the check transaction uh the uh, to check transaction so remember we need the security credential and also remember that we have here the result url and the check term so we'll pause there then i'll come back to uh, to uh, to explain more about that so from here you need the initiator name so from this from the test credential that is here the test credential that is here we can use this initiator name here we can use this initiator name here then we can do this we can come and take this password here so password which is here then here we need a transaction here so we have been given here for demo purposes we will use this transaction here we can use this or we can also use this so you can choose either of the two then this is the transaction that you are going to check for for instance for production you are going to use the transaction of that specific uh, payment that was done or withdrawal or for, so you can check for both purposes then you can check um, uh, business short code so business short code this is how you're going to do the business short code that we are going to use we're going to use this which is also provided this so you can take it from this so this both of them will work so you can just come here and replace it there then the phone number we have the one that we have been provided for security uh, for testing so we are going to place it there this is another project so let me paste it there so here then the amount that was sent you can just do it but i don't think here I think i've made a mistake because this amount is not required for uh, for testing check trans you only need this so that you can get all what you need so for that here what else did we not feed we have feed here then this uh organization conversion id this organization conversion id we can use this but i'm going to show you on how, where you can get it for example when you did the b2c here the b2c transaction when we did the b2c when we reloaded the b2c sorry when we reloaded the b2c transaction or the sdk or anything we were we were given the we were given the check transaction so in order to do that you can here it's the organization conversion uh here not that one this conversion id so you can also take this one here you can see they are both similar to even this so let us use this or for pro, uh, let's use that the one that we have copied then place it there now you can see this is what it's required here the party beasts the short code then the identifier they have um, state they have made us to state it as four you can see from the documentation here from the documentation the documentation not here from the documentation here they have said from the documentation that we use for for that for as an identifier so the reason why we are using for for as an identifier um, the reason why we are using for for as an identifier this is a type of receiving transaction so you can see for for organization shortcode so there then the next thing you can see from here we have uh, the result url and the queue timeout url so the key timeout url 
this i have used my uh the ng rock the ng rock that's why it's live you can see it from here and if you didn't see how we are set we we set the ng rock to live you can check in my this channel there is a video that i've described on how you can set your ng rock and share your project and set your project to be online so it's acting like it's a real domain so you can see from there this is the uh, the result code for so for your website you will replace it with the uh, with the url that for your website so there we have set it there so when we we come here here at result url when this uh transaction will be checked this uh, this is where the result will be sent so it will be sent to the result json and for uh for the queue time when there is a timeout when there is a timeout where is there when there is a timeout it will be sent to timeout url.json so let's come and test and see if what we will get you can see let's go first to the documentation and see what it's expected so when you get this it means it's successful so this is the result body that we will get and everything there now let's test it so when we test it from there when we test it let's reload and see so you see we have gotten uh, an accepted service successful and now let's go to our result result url which is there so it means this is where it will be sent and you can see we have a data which is there then you can just do this uh, you can see for now they have stated that the initiator valid inform in uh, information is invalid let's now look for a right initiator name so when you replaced with the right credential you will get the result code here so using the right credential in production you will get this as the result which will be here this is the result which will be here so you can check if it is successful if you should get this it means it will be successful and it will share the uh, the value name and everything that is there so that's how you check transaction so see you in the next video